Yeah, fun after uh, shutout. Let's hear some words on your shutout. I don't know. Uh, it was pretty, pretty exciting out there. Had a lot of fun out there. I came out there with a goal to win. We've had that goal the whole season, and uh, feels good to accomplish it. Talk about that late first period when they were hammering away for about five shots. You were sprawled all over the place. Yeah, we definitely did not come out with our strongest game, and uh, those few saves were key. And then we came in the locker room, we uh, came to ourselves, and we came as a group, and we realized that we need to come out and give a stronger period where we came out and scored three goals. And that's how. That's how Can we you talk been. about what was what was in your head when you were sprawling all over the place when they came at you in this first period at the end? Yeah, I was just thinking about the whole season, how we've worked so hard, how to get here, and uh, it just happened that way. <laughs> he does it. He doesn't talk about it. <laughs> all right, about going to the final. The guys must be, like, over the moon. Yeah, we're excited. It's I tough mean, to go back there again. That was our full goal from the beginning of the season. The captain's goal, the coach's goals was to get here one game at a time. And uh, early in the season, they beat us, so this is a little bit of a revenge game. Came out wanting to beat them. What do you think got you through to shut them down in this first, second, third? It really did. I mean, we came out way harder. Than and they're such a good team. Yeah, I mean, they're a great team. Compliments, like, all, like, they played great, too. And, I mean, we came out second and third period, like, needing to come out better than we did the first period, and that's what we did. And I give it to our defense and forwards for putting it in the net and getting shots in that. Do you see your guys coming back on the wing? Are you conscious of oh, that? Oh, yeah. A really good uh, back check and four check. I mean, both ways. Down and back the ice we played very well. I mean, I feel certainly a key tur a turning point in every game. You look for a turning point, and I felt the uh, a big turning point for us was the play of David Voigt late in the first period. They had a lot of good looks, and uh, I think David came up big first, and, and it was a huge uh, momentum builder to come out of that first period with a one nothing lead. I think that uh, you followed the team all year, and we've seen on a number of occasions, I wish I could you know, maybe do a better job coaching and figure out why we can't get off to better start sometimes, but um, the second period we've been good all year, and um, really I think more than anything else, it's just a matter, it, we, we make small tweaks maybe um, here and there, but we really don't deviate much from, from our, our general style of play, so I think that the big adjustment that we've made is really to, to pick up our intensity, and I think that's, you know, there's great leadership on the team, there's a, there's a lot of seniors on the team, and so these guys have been great all year in terms of rallying the troops and, and, and getting them ready and saying, listen, um, you know, I think we went in between periods and said that's not that's not going to be a good enough effort to get it done, and we all knew that. I mean, I knew that as uh, that, that you know everyone needed to be better, and so I think we all put our minds to it, and we were better in the second period. And then I think in the third period um, we did what we needed to. I think that uh, you know it didn't we didn't need to do anything special in the third period with a four goal lead. So I think that the, the key thing we wanted to do there, to there in the do in the third period was take what they gave us, and uh, you know if we if we had to if that meant chipping it in and getting it in a spot where we could get the puck back. 
out, we were happy to do that. But I feel like we were very efficient in the third period, and uh, it was nice to come away with a, with a victory. And, and uh, you know, certainly David Boyd played a, a huge role uh, in that game for us. And he made his best series of saves probably all season. That late first period, he sprawled all over the place. That was, Jack, like as you already mentioned, that's a turning point. I thought that was a turning point in the game. You know, I felt like the first uh, period, both teams were feeling each other out, as you'd expect. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a big event, and um, so I felt like uh, there was, it was kind of choppy play, a lot of, a lot of stoppages, and that, that typically doesn't play in our favor. But uh, in fairness, you know, they're a fast team too, and uh, so I felt uh, again to, to come out of that period with a one goal lead and, and uh, especially with the pressure they put on us at the end of the first period was a, was a really big moment in the game for us. And also now like another huge event, never before, Darian's never been about to possibly win a second straight state championship. So have you guys switched gears? Do you switch gears tomorrow? Well, have, you, have you switched gears before this game knowing what's coming? I, I, I think we look the, the way it worked out. I think that mentally, it, I'm talking about. Yeah, it. the guys are great. I mean, I think mentally it, it set itself up nicely. You know, we we got a crack at St. Joe's again. Um, they played a great game. Hats off. Um, we got another crack at, it, at a team that uh, that beat us during the regular season. So I think that, that you know from that perspective it played out. And in regard to the finals, um, you, you, there's nothing that you know. If, if I need to go in there and get the guys fired up, then I don't have the right group of guys. And I know that I do have the right group of guys. So um, I'm not I'm not too worried about uh, you know about the enthusiasm and the intensity level coming into Saturday's game. So I think that the, the guys will enjoy the game uh, tonight, enjoy the victory, and then uh, tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll reset and we'll start to think uh, uh, in regard to Saturday's game and uh, what we need to do to, to bring home the, the championship again. And as a coach, Mac, this is easy for someone like myself to say, or people that aren't behind the bench and are behind the glass and watching all this, enjoying it. Whoever you play on Saturday, you've handled them both about as well as you handled your opponent tonight. How does that weigh on you? Well. It doesn't. I mean, they're 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 two different teams. I mean, we played Hamden. They have a they have a great coach, and we played Hamden early in the season. And really, for that matter, we played Fairfield Prep early in the season too. And subsequent to that, Fairfield Prep has played a uh, you know a bunch of out of state teams and, and done quite well. So I, I don't think in either case the record really is indicative of the of the quality of the team. And that's that's true for Hamden as well as Fairfield Prep. So uh, look, I don't I don't I don't really care who we play. Um, I, for that matter, I'm not. I don't really think that the, the, the boys, you know, really care that much. And you know, we're we're going to expect a, a, a huge battle, regardless of who we play. Both teams are good, so you know, we're going to have to be ready for for a big game. Mac Bud, big win, back in the final. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Okay. <laughs> Just give me your take on the whole thing. A um, little bit of a slow start. Uh, David bit really bailed us out in the first. I think we were a little bit lucky to come out on top, one nothing. But that was definitely huge for us. So that kind of gave us a cushion, and then we were able to come out in the second and really uh, take it to him and uh, bury a few. And talk about that second, because that was a unique period yeah. for playoff uh, hockey. All year we've kind of uh, been calling ourselves a second period team. We really come out hard uh, in the second period. We just kind of were able to develop a little bit more offensive zone time and uh, possess the puck a little bit, get some shots, and then we were able to bury a few home there. So. And talk about going back on Saturday, and you got, last year was a big deal, hadn't won for so long, yep. decades and decades. Yep. Now you guys might do something that no Darien team has ever done. Yeah, no, this is uh, three years uh, back, back to the Yale on Saturday. And uh, oh, <laughs> almost got him. Yeah, almost got him. Uh, three, year, three years in a row on Saturday at the Yale, so it's exciting. Uh, definitely want to You guys think last about year. that? Well, you I might mean, do something uh, no Darien mean, team's ever done. We just want to go out and win. Uh, you know, losing the FSEC is the bummer for us, so now it's just desperation yeah, mode. And, uh, you know, now we have one game left no matter what. It's uh, win or lose, it's our last one, so we're going to lay it all out there.